<laughs> Mine's cooler. Whatever. You can keep trying. I know. I can actually wear mine and talk. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to episode, what is this, nine? Or eight? This is eight. This is eight. This is eight. I went to the future and came back. <laughs> this week's episode of Valken Debrief, myself, Kaiju, Bob Menor, and Valken Actual, Josh First. We're here at the <laughs> Colorado Ranch, and it's fall season, and hope you liked our little intro Happy there. Intro. We're, we're throwing our little uh, nerddom, as uh, my buddies would say. So, but before we get into the whole theme of what we're going to be talking about today, just to give you a heads up what's going on this weekend in Valken Command. We've got Les Trooper playing at Hollywood Sports Park on Sunday. And go check her out. Uh, PNW Punk up in the northwest. Going to Tacoma Airsoft. Tacoma Airsoft Center. TAC. TAC Tacoma in Washington for some open play. And Dire Wolves. Uh, tomorrow night in uh, Ontario, they are going to the Toronto Tactical Action Close Combat College. That's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> T-A-A-C-3. <laughs> Say that. Say that um, five times as fast. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And they're going to do some concealed carry training up there as well, so that's pretty awesome. It's kind of like, it's Canada. They don't have concealed carry. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, Kaylee, gonna be stormtroopering it up. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, there's uh, there's Kaylee, Les Trooper, sporting the new PDW. We've You're got watching the broadcast. Oh yeah, I'm not that. watching it live. I know it's like there's such a delay. It's so awesome. Somebody was just saying how awesome it would be to watch ourselves live. I know, right? <laughs> I know. So, but on to topic one, which is airsoft gun. No, what? Airsoft guns and Halloween. We'll get the airsoft con in a minute. I'm not over my jet lag yet. But anyway. I know. I <laughs> so. know. So, next month's October. October's famous for Halloween. So. Okay. I'm just going to say this. It's not cool. Like, I know it is a thing right now. Can, can we not do Pennywise from it? Like, for Halloween? That's just, that's not cool. I hate clowns. And then last year we had that whole thing where people were being like creepy clowns and freaking people out and almost getting shot. And now we have Pennywise. Well, I mean, just say. So one of my wife's friends posted on Facebook, her husband never goes and watches horror movies. So they went to go see it. He has, he's never heard of it, never seen it before whatsoever. Okay. They went and saw it. When they came home, his wife planned this. When he came home, he came through the door first. Floating in the middle of the living room was a red balloon. Oh, no. He flipped out and ran right out that the is, door. That's cruel. That's cruel. <laughs> oh, yes. Alex Francisco, what's up, brother? Oh, there's, there, there's, there's our boy, Train. Tactical Pennywise. Tactical Pennywise. <laughs> so, no more Harley Quinn. Now, I'm sorry. I disagree with the Harley Quinn. I, well. You think she's overdone? Uh, a little. A little. It's like the go-to, but I see a lot of like, you know, half-aid ones. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but it's like the go-to one, but I think it's also like yoga pants. You know, yeah. not a, everybody wears them, but not everybody looks good. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but before we get off air on tangent, the big thing is, guys and gals, kids, if you're going to dress up for Halloween, leave your airsoft guns at home. Nerf battle axes. Okay. Nerf Colorful stars. Nerf guns? Colorful Nerf guns? Yeah, you want to be like Wawa Fett or like somebody from Destiny yeah. 5. Leave the airsoft guns at home. It goes for pistols, revolvers, shotguns. Leave it all at home. And, you know, not only us, but local fields, local shops, you're going to start seeing the posts everywhere. All oh, over yeah. Facebook. The, the PSAs will, will start coming out and they'll be all over, you know, your Facebook feed and Instagram. And, and so. people still do it. Yeah. Stop doing it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean... You see somebody else trying to do it. Be a good friend. Tell them to stop. So... <clears throat> so, um, don't forget to share the video below. When you share the video, tomorrow, we're going to be drawing a winner for a cool prize that I'll be talking about in a little bit. 
But if you just joined us, this is episode eight, Falcon Debrief here at the Colorado Ranch. And we're talking about airsoft guns and Halloween. And for those of you that are watching, if you've ever seen any less than stellar costumes with airsoft guns out there where it just went bad, Halloween going bad, post it up in the comments below so we can uh, share what's going on. Yeah, Woodcock says don't do it. Yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. Don't, I mean, you can, dress, you can dress up in, you know, do your SF impression, do your, uh, do your Ranger impression, or your video game, you know, Battlefield, uh, Battlefront. I've actually, I've actually noticed um, a decline in kids dressing up in G.I. Joe, Call of Duty, stuff like that. What about, have you noticed that? A little bit. I mean, it's kind of like the go-to, you know, you've got all the stuff flying around from playing airsoft and people do it. But I think, I think there's been a, a rise in like the cosplay and, you know, you see so many cons everywhere. So everybody's kind of like investing more time and getting uh, better costumes uh, and they're using that for Halloween as well as conventions. Oh yeah, exactly. So. And you know, all you airsofters, you've done it. You're like, oh, I don't have a costume. All right, I'll just throw my JPC and and my bump helmet. Oh yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, I did it one year, but I did the whole uh, Transformers uh, like multicam with the with the Gen One combat chassis and stuff. I did that one year. Oh really? Yeah. The the actual Transformers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. I even had this like yeah. this sling bag. So that that's about the I think that's about the only time I use my airsoft gear. Oh yeah. Hey, my brother-in-law, Matt, joined us. All right. Yeah, he's up here. He's up here in Denver. There we go. Oh, nice. So that's pretty cool. So, have you ever witnessed somebody getting hooked or arrested or gotten in a little altercation because they took guns out on Halloween? Uh, personally, no. No, I've, n I've never seen that. Um, I've seen uh, like I've seen it at, at cons. You know, if they don't do the proper check-in or anything like that. Oh, but yeah. So for those of you that don't know, when you go to a convention, whether it's a comic book convention, cosplay, gaming convention, video game convention, and you're dressed up in your costume, when you go check in through the door, the gun must not function. Period. Yeah, take the motor out, take the barrel out, you know, take the gearbox out, whatever. But just got to be a big paperweight. Yeah. And until you get there, leave it in the gun bag. Don't walk through the front door with it. Hey, Kyle... Kyle joined us. Kyle, all right. Thank you. I've been giving him a hard time because he's missed the past few. Episodes. Well, it's like in the middle of his work day, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, but he's he's had to go off in like adulting stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, which is not very Kyle. If anybody's ever met Kyle, he's he's not very adult. <laughs> very eighties. I gotta love him. Mm -hmm. So, if you're just joining us, episode eight, Valken debrief here at the beautiful Colorado Ranch with Kaiju. And Valken Actual. So, please head on down, do that little share button, um, place any comments, especially if you have any questions for us or anything going on. If you share, we're going to take all these shares that we get tomorrow and we're going to draw a winner. And what we're going to be giving away this week is the one of the Valken 1 to 4 scopes with the. My personal favorite. Yes. <laughs> Comes with a mount. It's a QD mount, right? No, it's not. It's not a QD mount. Oh, okay, good. I don't like cutie mounts. No. So you'll be able to receive that red dot. All you have to do is share, and we're going to pick a winner. So, And tell your friends, when you share it, they got to share the video, not your share and their share. Yeah, they got to come to the Facebook page and share this video. Yeah, that's right. But it's pretty sweet. It's somewhere probably around here, but it's probably gone by now. Yeah. <laughs> the, magic of, <laughs> the magic of going live. So on to topic two. Which is two weeks away. Two weeks away. In so exciting. Alhambra, California, Southern California. Yes, more nerddom. It's another con. No yes. One, no one Where has. you can dress up and you can bring your guns. Known as? Airsoft con. Dude, they they've done a great job of branding airsoft con. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like I know that there in uh, over the past several years, there's there's been uh, various you know airsoft conventions that have kind of cropped up, and they try and bring a lot of vendors, and vendors have you know shown up, but it just it really doesn't have you know the feel and the attendance of airsoft con. Airsoft con is just it's insane. 
Like, I mean, uh, I've been there on, um, you know, like a trip. I come in early, you know, because we've got to get uh, pick up everything for the booth and get it all set up and drive up there. And there's there's people out already camping and they've been camping there for, you know, two, three days so that they can be the first in line, you know, the first for those door busters, the first to get in. Um, and I think that, you know, they have a lot of different promotions and stuff. But yeah, like these kids are intense. Kids, adults. Oh. Everybody. I'm excited because this will be my first. Really? So I'll, I'll be a, an airsoft con newbie. <laughs> newbie. Um, they've been doing what? Is this the th- third or fourth year? I honestly don't know. I think is there some is there somebody who can tell us how many years it's been going in the in the comics? I know 2015, 2016. I just can't remember if it was 2014 for airsoft con. But the date Saturday, October 14th. Gates open at 9 a.m. Right there in Southern California, um, so is it? It's like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all like oh, everything all wrapped into one. I mean, there's there's games, there's prizes, there's giveaways. I think they have a costume contest. Um, so you see everything from loadouts to people with like full on. Which I think I saw a, uh, a couple of um, Fallout uh, last time I went. It's it's awesome, and I. Uh, they have a, a DJ and kind of a VIP area where you get to meet and greet some of the YouTube personalities like yes. Robo and and uh, uh, Matt, Jet, Leah. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan from Airsoftology oh, yeah. will be out there. Oh, um, Dave, Dave, Dave Bex. Yeah. Uh, will he be there? I thought I saw he was going to be there. Mm. I, I wouldn't. I haven't seen Dave in forever. So I, I know, know, right? I haven't. I haven't seen him either. He's he's one of the loved ones. Um, they're staying, everyone's posting, stay away from the Kogi truck. The Kogi truck, what was it? The, so there's there's a sushi burrito truck that's amazing. And I haven't seen, you know, in that type of food, that food fusion. Oh, no, they're not saying stay away from the Kogi truck. They're saying there's no Kogi truck this year. So I'm going to oh. be missing, I'm going to be missing out. So um, we're going to be there. We'll be set up. So... You'll be coming off of the main entrance is the east entrance. We're so, right there in the front. Yes. So if you're looking... You walk in and you'll see... <laughs> you'll see Valken Command. Yes. And we've got a bunch of cool announcements. Uh, we're not going to leak out quite yet. you gotta, you got to come see us. I mean, literally, we're not going to go hungry. We're right up front next to the food trucks. Airsoft C3 is going to be out there. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to be... I'm just excited. There's going to be like a ton of stuff. You, you can't miss anything. Don't think you're going to come there at noon and enjoy it all. No, you have to get there. Oh yeah, when they yeah, open. you're, you're going to miss out on a lot of cool stuff if you if you're not in there in the morning. If you get there later in the afternoon, um, it's it's hot out there. So I mean, it's a long day and it's really hot. You got to get there and just kind of um, get in on the excitement and it's, it just goes all day long. I mean, oh yeah, we do know the raffle is going to start at two, and that goes till about four or five o'clock. I mean, a lot of stuff they're giving away. When you come into the entrance, you're going to get a pretty cool little passport looking thing, and you have to go get it stamped by vendors mm-hmm. for a cool prize. Um, there's going to be lots of swag. We're going to have swag to give away. Mm-hmm. Um, you lots know, of cool stuff. Yeah, you're gonna. We're gonna have the whole booth set up. It's freaking Valken Command straight up. We're gonna have some of our superheroes there. Yes, Iron Man. Iron Man. So, not Robert Downey Jr., but our beloved Ian, Iron Man. And he's always lots of fun. He's uh, he's been. I think this will be his second. I believe it will be his second uh, airsoft con with us, and uh, he's out there. All day long, uh, taking pictures with the kids, talking to them. Uh, usually brings out his uh, personal rifles or personal sidearms that you guys can check out. Um, his V12, and of course he'll be there in his loadout. And uh, he'll also like, be able to do some signatures. Kids come up and ask for him. Don't know why. We're just you know, yeah. <laughs> this is just airsoft, but you know, <laughs> kids get really excited. It's really cool. It's a really great atmosphere. Hey, Paul Morgan. Thanks for joining us. Valken life matters, according to Joe Garandi. Thank you, Joe. It does matter. It does matter. Um, Kaylee, 
will also be there. So call you know goes by Les Trooper on Instagram. She is one of our mill speed heroes, and she's going to be out there. So you'll get to check her out as well. And Kyle, Kyle, which yes. we we're just going to say Kyle for we're right now. We're just going to say Kyle. Yeah, we're just going to say Kyle because. <laughs> He's got something awesome to announce. Um, so we're going to have our heroes out there. Uh, also, we're going to have this... I'll just let them know, but it's like a whole red carpet deal. Yes. You get to take photos with everyone. We've got a media wall. You get to take pictures, cool, get autographs. Cool, cool posters, cool swag. Oh, yes. it's We're, we're, we're not... We're holding... We're not holding back. Letting out all the stops, and you're going to see a lot of cool stuff. You'll be able to put your hands on a lot of cool stuff. It's weather looks is supposed to be looking good. Not too not too hot, about right for this time of year. So you got to check it out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be off the hook. But yeah, leading up to the week before the event, we'll be uh, dropping some teasers, and there'll be lots of cool announcements. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Trust me. So, and if you guys are going to be at AirsoftCon, let us know because, you know, come up to the booth, say hi, take a selfie with us. We'll be doing an, another selfie contest where you can win some Valken stuff. We're also going to be... Uh, We're also going to be doing a um, Valken debrief on site. Oh, <laughs> yes. We just got confirmation that Thursday afternoon, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern, same time, same bat channel. Our special guest. Can we say it right? Yeah, it's we confirmed. Can say it. Yeah, yeah, he confirmed. So if they back out, oh, it's yeah. on him. Yeah, it's on him. <laughs> Matt from Evic. We're going to be doing a special debrief episode from Evic headquarters, and it's going to be, dude, that's going to be so off the. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. We, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Matt, we're telling you, we're going to need a bigger be, table. Be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, so I actually got to visit uh, Evic headquarters for the first time about a couple months ago. I was just like, wow. Oh, yeah. Like, you need to wear, you have to line your hat with tinfoil <laughs> because all the products in there talk to you. <laughs> it's like, buy me. Yeah, of course. And then you see, like, you know, the Captain America shield on the wall and the other stuff, and you're like, checking your bank account. <laughs> I mean, it's It's bad. <laughs> Yes, Kyle. We will have the biggest tent. Oh, yeah. So we got a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. A lot of stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Yes, Bobby. You can get a photo with the Falcon athletes, too. Mm -hmm. This is Bobby Wolves. He's already one of our athletes. He feels kind of left out. Well, so. he, he, he's, uh, you know, he suffers from fanboyism. <laughs> Ian is legendary. <laughs> oh, yes. So, um... If you just joined us, episode eight, Valken Debrief here at the Colorado Ranch with myself, Kaiju, and Valken Actual. It's good to have my buddy back. He's yes. so happy. So don't forget to like and share the video. Everyone that shares, we're going to pick a name tomorrow from all the shares that's going to get their chance to win a Valken Red Dot. Well, it's, it's, it's still, it's a scope, but it has an illuminated reticle. AKA so short dot. Short dot. Short dot. So get yeah. it right. One to four power, short dot, with a mount, the Valken. So what I've been using for like the past year and a half. It's one of my favorite optics. So. It seems to be like one of the... People are kind of pulling away from the whole, uh, you know, aim point, ACOG style and really going to the short dot mm -hmm. to be able to just zoom in just a little bit, just to see that target hiding, you know? Yeah. So Pre-firing. <laughs> so you're not, there's no friendly fire, hopefully. Oh, Cole Thornton, thank you for joining us, bud. Yes, I will bring these cheeks to a game. I know. <laughs> I know. So, um, our last topic that we're going to get into is selling Airsoft online. Or buying. Or buying. Or buying. So, because I'm sure many of you have um, stepped into the pitfall of uh, the buyer beware. Um uh, I hope most people know by now that there's no sale of air guns, airsoft, paintball, real guns, anything on Instagram, Facebook, anything like that. So um, that's kind of like the PSA. You don't want to post any of that because one, it'll get taken down. Two, that's why we can't have nice things. 
Um, doesn't matter if it's, if it's a private or a public group. Um, gear, accessories, um, parts, things of that nature, mags, um, are still you know um, bought and sold and traded on uh, Facebook. And uh, I've seen people try and get around the uh, the gun thing on Instagram. They'll they'll write something like, oh, "Hey, how much do you think this is worth?" You know, contact me via DM. And that's mm, let's not start the rules on that one. Oh, Paul Morgan says no PayPal either. <laughs> no PayPal. I'm fine with PayPal. Just there's you know well, you have to understand like if you do it as like a, a so as far as I understand with PayPal that if you do friends and family. So most people, the, it used to be where the fees would fall on either the buyer or the seller, depending on what type of transaction it was. Friends and family, there's usually no fee, but there's also also uh, no way to contest that or dispute that Correct. transaction. Right. And that's the pitfall. The guy's like, "Yo, man, uh, I don't want to pay the the processing fee. You know, just do it. You know, friends and family. And then once you send them their, your money, it's gone. So you always kind of want to do that." Uh, Still do it as a business transaction, and then just arrange or build into the into the price, the selling price, the fee. So if something does go wrong, you can still dispute that transaction. Oh yeah, uh, Aaron Kudal from Tap Airsoft, one of our buddies, uh, airsoft L selling app called Hop Up. Yes, the Hop Up app. Yes, there are several way there are several ways online that you can still legally um, sell airsoft, and those are a couple different forums and Hop Up. Is one of them, and they have a cool little app that you can get on. Is it Android and um, the iTunes Store, the iPhone and the Android? I, I don't know. I think it's Tell both. Us, I think it's both. So, yes, scammers uh, get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you're when you're looking, I mean, honestly, they better have all the details laid out, what they've done to it, what it looks like. Um, you know, some, some kind of thing where it's not like somebody else's picture, you know, I always like to see, Hey, I want to see you holding a gun, not yeah. just, or a function test. Those, you know, everyone's got a phone nowadays. Everyone can email you or send you something. So, you know, you can do a function test on that. And I think one of the things that people don't, uh, take into account is most airsoft pistols and rifles are serialized. Because I've seen the bait and switch done. They show you one, and then you get another. So you can verify the serial number, too. Oh, yes. Is there a broker site for Airsoft? Like Firearm Broker? I, not that I'm aware There's of. something coming. Um, it's, it's, really, it's a really cool addition to one of the more popular ones. I can't talk about it. I can't name them, but um, I know a lot of you probably would, might know. But there's, there's actually a really cool broker option coming to one. I mean, the there, there, there's, there's a lot of... You know, gear traders, mm -hmm. gear classifieds, but again, it's all gear. Schmeckles. Yeah. Schmeckles are expensive. They're like you know, seventeen U.S. dollars for one schmeckle. Yeah. And also, <laughs> besides you know, airsoft guns, um, you know, optics too, especially yeah. with all the the repro optics. Mm -hmm. Somebody's passing off like a real MRO, and you end up getting one of those fro. Yeah, I mean, it's not cool. Um, you have some. You, you can ask some uh, people who are. I, I know some pretty knowledgeable people out there with optics, and usually replicas all have the same cage and serial number. So you can verify by if it has this cage number or serial number. Um, then you can verify if it's a if it's a repro. Yeah, uh, Derek Taylor says he's had he's had the bait and switch back in the day and was the worst trash action ever. Yeah, it's. When it happens, literally, it it just sucks. Yeah, it's just it's just like a sinking feeling, and they disappear, and you never hear from them again. And like the only thing that you can do is, you know, uh, post a warning. And another thing is getting um, having you know somebody's credentials or having people vouch for them that they've had successful transactions, kind of like a uh, buyer's rating on eBay. One of the best things you can do as an airsofter, and you have a a lot of stuff to get rid of go to your local shop go to your local field and volunteer to organize a gear swap swap meet something like that yeah you know and you An want to vent you don't want to you know a lot of stores don't want to deal with a uh, trade section or a used section some do but um it's it can get pretty uh glaze it can get out of control glaze sports 
um, in Southern California, they do a great uh, used trade-in program. Mm -hmm. um, one of the best shops that I've seen uh, able to do that. Casey runs that shop. Uh, good dude. But yeah, and you want to advertise about 60 days out. Um, I've seen, uh, there was one really good one, uh, Airsoftology Jonathan, um, our buddy CJ, Typhon, mm -hmm. they had one up at uh, Oregon Airsoft Arena. That was really good. Uh, I think Fox Airsoft is having one this weekend too. Yeah. Um, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure Evix had, had one, had, has them too. But yeah, you want to get rid of all that gear because honestly, what are you going to do? You're going to sell the gear and you're going to use it to buy other stuff. So sometimes just eliminating the money transaction entirely and just doing a swamp meet, that's the best thing. Everybody comes out, you start advertising about 60 days out, mm -hmm. two months is a good you know, allows people to, you know, get dig together. In the, dig in their, uh, their bins, the bottom of their yes. closet, the basement, the garage, and get everything together. Yes. And, you know, everybody wants the most for their stuff, but you got to be realistic. You know, you got to be realistic. If it's, you want it a lot, I mean, it's, it's yard sale prices, it's yard sale prices. At least somebody can get something good out of it, especially with, you know, all the wasteland ops coming up, mm -hmm. all the post-apocalyptic ops coming up. You know, people are just looking for cheap, inexpensive gear that that they can tear up, modify, you know, punkify, punkify. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. If you were, if honestly, just avoid the online stuff. Go to your, support your local field, local shop. You know, make it a huge day event. Try to bring in, um, you know, some high profile folks, some friends. Because you know what, Jet, Leah. Everybody's got extra stuff they oh, want yeah. to get rid of, okay. you know. And I just, have so much. I, I've got to get out the one. Of those I know, things. right? And it'll be kind of cool to find out what you have. Fine. So, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. We we're able to knock out three topics today. So, this is Valken debrief. Don't forget to like and share. We love everyone's comments. We love all of you out there. Share for your chance to win tomorrow. Everyone that shares will win a Valken one to four power. Not Shoot. everyone. <laughs> yeah, we will yes. choose one. <laughs> Everyone that shares will have a chance to win one Valken <laughs> one to four power short dot scope <laughs> with mount. So, thanks guys. Be sure to catch us again next week on another episode of Valken Debrief. Right. See you guys later.